Good morning. Waking up on catfish on our beautiful elevated campsite. It was a pretty quiet night last night. Didn't get too cold. Slept on top of my sleeping bag all night. Uh, it's a bit chilly right now, but sky's clear. Moon's out. I think it's going to be a, another scorcher of a day. And it's calling for rain tomorrow. So we're going to enjoy today. So the plan for the day, we're going to uh, portage around the Catfish Rapids. Make our way over to Purley. Probably have lunch on the nice campsite on Purley, unless it's taken. We go through the Portal Rapids into Burnt Root. We'll take a look at the root cellar. Eric has never seen that. And then the plan is to paddle all of Burnt Root down to Red Pine Bay. And uh, we'd like to get that island campsite on Red Pine Bay. Time to get the food down, make some uh, egg wraps, and start kicking hammocks. This is my first video of the day. I haven't already said good morning to you. Uh, I had my camera tucked away though. We've made up breakfast. We're mostly packed up. All the hammocks are down, but gear is still kind of everywhere. So uh, we'll finish doing that, get ourselves situated in the boats, and then we're headed to, uh, headed to Red Pine Bay today. You yeah, coming or what? Assuming it's 9.45, 10 o'clock sort of thing. One or two boats have passed us this morning, but we've now pushed off. This campsite here was one of the ones we were considering. We were obviously trying for Shangri-La Island. She's a beauty. But the campsite we were on was pretty good, really good. So we are headed down now. I think you can, this is an island here. You can either swing it or go to the right. I don't, uh, I think you can go either way, to be honest. Uh, and we're making our way right now towards the Catfish Rapids. No breeze so far, which hopefully will stay most of the day, at least on burnt root. I'd like to not be fighting the wind, but I think it's gonna be hot. What do you think, Ray? It already is hot. Yeah. We're coming upon what I believe will be the first portage of the day. Not back there? I did, man. What are we saying for a distance on this one? Distance on this one. 365? All right, we're at 365, so that's not too bad. All right, so we're on the first portage of the day. Pretty easy one. Everything today, five portages. Nothing over a half kilometer. No real elevation bikes. A lot of this. We've only been uh, traveling now for like 30, 40 minutes. And Rich has already complained once about portaging. He says he needs to stop because it's compressing his spine. He can't afford to be any shorter. <laughs> so that might be a new record. Eric's the man in the back of the boat, and he's got the map. He's just the man. He says he's the man, regardless of his position in the boat. And he tells me we are currently on the Petawawa. Nice spot here as well. And uh, I'm trying to think of what sea shanty I'll sing for him next. Thinking maybe a little farewell to Nova Scotia. I don't know if that qualifies as a sea shanty, but it has a sea shanty feel to me. Farewell to Nova Scotia, the sea and coast that you're 
Now the sea shanties have started. If only he could compress his singing. The briny ocean coast, would you ever heave a sigh or a tear for me? Away in a manger. Oh, wrong one. That's the old hymn book. Hey, who sings that, Rich? Uh, Jesus, I think. But we're gonna get right through her. As long as you stay to the left a bit. Coming up onto what may or may not be the snowshoe rapid. Maybe Evan will edit this video and do a nice little snippet of that and make it sound like I said, this is the snowshoe rapid we're approaching. Very shallow through this last little bit. It is the snowshoe. Very, super shallow, and then immediately super deep. So a big pool at the end of this rapid. A pool that some would call a lake. But yeah, if you're coming through there, just keep your eye out because there are a lot of big boulders and rocks. The rest of it's super shallow, but it's mostly sandy bottom. So no risk of damaging your boat, but can make it a little difficult to paddle. I can't tell as of yet which side the portage is on. Uh, Ryan is yelling at me that it's on the right. And the left looks like it's got a good little opening too. And now Evan is saying, on the left. So, who knows? But up here somewhere. I always complain. Is that poor couch is actually not bad? No. Evan, I believe, is taking some video of a couple geese we're seeing right now, which may be the first wildlife video that we've got of the trip. But on the way in, I don't know if we mentioned or not, on the access road, we had a bobcat come out in front of us, which we didn't get any video. We only saw it for, I'm gonna say 15 to 30 seconds. First time I've ever seen one in the wild. Uh, cool, I'm glad I was in the vehicle and not just strolling next to it on a portage, but neat experience. Running this one? Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna run it. All right, so this is the 80 or 85 takeout here. And we're in high water. We're not really going around anything worth caring about. So we're just gonna bypass. Like right here, straight. Ooh. I don't think there's anything I enjoy quite like Dodge in a Portage. If it was just a little deeper and we weren't hitting our paddles in the bottom, it would have been more fun. When I wrote in on a song When I'm gone Which is uh, kicking ass it's Portage Complaining, even though the portages are perfectly fine He stopped singing now I don't know why we are currently on the final part of the Petawawa 
Eric's doing a little fishing back there, drinking a little drink. The other boys are up in front of us, oh, not too far. Evan's doing some fishing along the shoreline. We're gonna be into Pearly next after a short little paddle. We're hoping to see the root cellar again on Burnt Root and then paddle down to Red Pine Bay. Most of the portaging for the day is done. Uh, the next one I think is a 180, 160. So nothing real difficult at this point. And it's really nice out, super, super hot. But I did put sunscreen on today, so hopefully I don't get burnt. We are halfway down Pearly. We're in the Narrows, where the east side and the west side of Pearly meet. I uh, can't tell yet, but there is a campsite up on this side. Hopefully no one's there, because that'd be a nice spot for us to pull in, have some lunch, stretch the legs. Um, all we have to do now is paddle this west side of Pearly to the Portal Rapids, portage into Burnt Root, and then paddle to our campsite. So it'd be a good time to stop for lunch. We are just finishing up Pearly, about to get onto the portage that goes into Burnt Root, where uh, We'll look at the root cellar at the end. This section is looks like almost like an island, has rapids coming around both sides. Might not be able to see it from here on the camera, but I think Evan's taking some video closer up. We are the end of Pearly Lake, and you're looking at the two sides of the portal rapids from Burnt Root into Pearly. And then the portage is right here. Can we get any further up? It's not that wild. No, it's not. What, are you, it, what are you comparing? What's wild to you? The wild West. Ooh. I like being a cowboy. Wild, wild West. Jim West. Cowboy. Cowboy. Oh. Right, well, Ooh. Ooh, right. We're like, we're going to be wedged on this thing. Oh, Ryan, we're in a bad way here. Got it. Not much portaging. It's been easy portaging. And the weather's been good. No wind. We've been doing pretty leisurely pace and still we're going to arrive like mid-afternoon sort of thing. Almost done the portage. You can't see in front of me, but I can. And I'm now looking into Burnt Road and it looks nice and calm. This is looking out from the campsite that has the root cellar at the end of the pearly to burnt root portage. So this is the one little section that you can see here of burnt root. Burnt root's pretty big, goes way down off to the left. Now we're taking Eric to see the root cellar. You're not gonna be able to see anything probably when we get in here. Well, there is a little vent if I recall. Vent to the sky. Do you nap in here? <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Pretty cool. Actually, there's a lot of light in here today. All right, Eric and I are taking off into Burnt Root, but basically out of Burnt Root, we're gonna hug the left shore all the way down. You go through a little bit of a narrow zigzag and then you're gonna come out into Red Pine Bay and the island is right there. So
Oh, I love this part of the park. Everyone, I love it. God, I love this campsite. Did it. Did I ever mention how much I love this campsite? Oh, if you're a hammock camper, can't beat it. There's a bit of wind damage from the previous, or this summer or last, a couple trees down, but makes for good firewood. This is the money shot. Eric and I, we finished up Burnt Root. We're entering into Red Pine Bay. This is the island site we were hoping to stay on with the big rock. It looks like the boys have got it because it appeared to me that the one guy up there is taking photos, which would probably be Ryan. So there's a good chance. And I would assume if they did get it, they would have shot right up to that hill quick. Uh, which is good news because Evan was going to be pretty salty if we didn't get it. Lucky for Eric, he gets to hear all the same tales that we tell everyone we bring on a trip. Although, because he's Evan's brother, he's already probably got the pleasure of hearing yeah, a lot of pretty them. boring off camera now. <laughs> yeah, off camera? There's no good stuff off camera anymore. No, no, no material for me. <laughs> Made it. Got it. You in a good mood now? I'm always in a good mood. <laughs> it's this guy that gets salty. You're getting really iffy on the Are you in a good know. mood now? I was until I saw you. Ooh. 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 Look at this. That's not fair. <laughs> Try to call me salty. Hey, this antler's pretty cool. Sasquatch drink his lemonade. <sighs> lemonade. That was hot. Thunder me! Thunder me! <laughs> Last time we were here, on this beach to my left, there was a naked man. That's a fun factoid. And apologize. She heard about my new family love on that FM now. Gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Who says that anymore? This guy. Thunderbird. <laughs> oh, forty-five to zigzag, baby. That's all we need. We can go to the pile, Captain. All right. For the people who watch the outtakes, GoPro, stop recording. Thank <laughs> you.